Hi, Ross. Hello there. <laughs> hi, hi. Um, and so nice to finally uh, meet you virtually. Um, really, real pleasure. And, and we're absolutely delighted um, that you're um, supporting this year's Remember Charity Week with the Wombles. That must be really exciting for you as well, I guess. Oh, it's incredibly exciting to to chat with you and to and to have some furry friends uh, alongside me as well. It's a very exciting time, obviously for the charity. You know, celebrating twenty years, uh, and also to see these these lovely uh, little people back again. So uh, it just all has come together. It's like the perfect storm. Yeah. So I guess I guess um, like me, you, you must have presumably grown up with the Wombles. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Wombles was such a, a part of my childhood as. It was for so many people of, of my generation and other generations too. And it, it's funny, I was just doing yet another Zoom call the other day with, uh, with a nine-year-old and I mentioned the Wombles and he went, the Wombles. So it's incredible <laughs> that the, the name and everything that goes with it has been passed down through generations. And so even if you haven't seen them on the TV for quite some time, it's incredible that they're still very much a part of our world. And uh, so to be involved with them in any way, shape or form, is just so exciting for me. And it's amazing. I think The Wombles is one of those, those uh, unique shows that, that, could, that appeals to so many different generations. I mean, I, I, you know, I remember as, as a little boy watching that with my parents and they'll have memories of it. And, but you know, the song is also really iconic in, in its own right, isn't it? That song just goes through your head all the time. <laughs> and there, there are very few people and very few things, I think, in, in the world, especially the world that we're living in just now, that if you mention a name, and I always think when I interview Dolly Parton, I always say to Dolly, whenever you mention her name to people, they go, oh, I love Dolly. And she's one of the few people that, that there, there's nothing divisive about it. And I think the Wombles are exactly the same. If you mention the name, the Wombles, to anyone, everyone goes, Oh, and I love the Wombles. You, you very, very rarely, in fact, I've never ever once got a negative reaction to the Wombles. So again, in, again, in the world that we're living in at the moment, in this very, very strange world that we're living in, it's such a wonderful thing to have something so positive. Yeah, I think that's right. And I think that, you know, I mean, remember charity, as you, as you said, we, we, we're now sort of celebrating 20 years of working together. And I think the public like to see charities working together and I think that's a real positive but also there's a real challenge because how do you create a campaign that unites so many different causes and uh, from all different parts of the UK and one of the great things about the Wombles was that as you say just like Dolly Parton um, <laughs> she, she do, you know, absolutely unites people and, and even when you said Dolly Parton it brought a smile to my face because at the beginning of lockdown, I remember her reading the children's uh, uh, stories of the llamas in pajamas, and I think the, the Wombles brings that smile to the face. And when we when we revealed our campaign for this year, and we were going to uh, work with the Wombles, uh, uh, you know, everyone, every charity had this big smile on their face, going fantastic. Um, and I think um, you know that's what we're really excited about for Remember Charity Week is being able to, as you say, put something really positive out and, and also tapping into that sense of nostalgia, which I think feels like really important at this time of, uh, you know, in, in such a difficult time. Yeah, definitely. There's never been a time when we need people to all come together. Um, you know, the whole world has been affected by this pandemic. We're all in this together. So this is the time, I think, when everyone should be thinking of each other. And I think with this charity, uh, I think the really simple thing is, and every charity always says, you know, no matter what you can give, even just a little account. And I think when people think about remembering a charity in a will, I think most people think of wills and think of, oh my goodness me, you know, it, you know, it's not great uncle Bulgari, but it was great uncle Freddie. And, you know, he passed away and he left all this money, et cetera, et cetera. And I think people, whenever they think of wills, think of lots of money. And I think that's one of the most important things to get across is that it doesn't matter how much you leave, you know, it could just be a few pounds 
whatever you leave really does make a difference. And especially at this time, charities all over are hurting so badly at the moment. And understandably so, because everyone has got a little bit insular at the moment and everyone's thinking, oh my goodness me, how are we going to survive? But I think it's such a perfect time to think of other people, to think of other charities. And again, when it comes to a will, and even if you haven't made a will, always good to think about having a will, but equally just to leave a little something. And that's the thing that I think most people just don't realize. It's just a little something is just absolutely brilliant. Yeah, that's that's so true. And I think the, the, the other really important point, which I love in the film, and of course you do all the voices in this <laughs> film, and yeah, I think you did such a brilliant job. I must say, I really, really, <laughs> really love your range of voices. Really, really <laughs> brilliant job. But I think one of the really nice lines, I think it's Uncle Bert Bulgaria says, well, you say, as it were, um, is around kind of, you know, leaving a bit to charity is the greatest gift once have taken care of your wombles, of course. And I think that's the other message you're trying to get across. It's that, you know, people think, oh, I, I, well, I want to leave money to my family, so I can't do it to charity. But I think, remember, Charity Week is all about reminding people, you know, absolutely take care of your loved ones first and just leave a small amount once you're taking care of your loved ones to your favorite charities is it makes a massive difference and i guess I, the other thing is is just about them being inextricably linked isn't it so we think about our family our community and charity but they are intertwined aren't they absolutely and when you think of the amazing work like with legacies actually funding like you know six in, in every 10 lifeboats and two in every three guide dogs the effect is absolutely monumental and again at this time you know people thinking about themselves thinking about their loved ones we absolutely get that and priority number one think about family you know close friends too but then again it's just that lovely thing just to have a thought for other people other people less fortunate and other charities that are really struggling at the moment. And every little bit just helps. It gives everyone, you know, a, a little bit of a boost at this moment. And as we all know at the moment, everyone could really do with a boost, let's be honest. And I think, you know, when you see the Wombles and it was such a privilege to, to be part of it and to and to to put in those voices. And it, it's quite weird when I actually, well, when I when I watch it back, Sometimes I don't realize that it is me <laughs> with all the voices. Some of the voices, I don't know where they quite came from, but they came from some strange place. Uh, but to actually see the, the wonderful CGI and to actually see Wombles talking and smiling and all those wonderful expressions that they have now, because again, as, as time moves on and animation moves on, it's great that we can move the Wombles uh, along a little bit as well, but still have that wonderful core message that they were just very straightforward, very simple, just doing the best and doing everything that they can to help. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. And I, I, I was, it was the obvious question, but I, I, and I was going to ask you about where all those voices came from. You must have <laughs> had some real fun with that. Did you, um, were there some voices you decided you had to lose and it, it, how did you practice for that? Yeah, we, we tried so many uh, different voices and so many different ranges because obviously you've got a whole unbelievable uh, collection of wonderful people there. And, you know, immediately you think of, you know, the, the wonderful Bernard Cribbins, who just was, you know, an absolute master. And that's who we all grew up listening to. Uh, but it's great now that, that I could put my own little slant on it too. And some of the Wombles that in my head, I could hear their voice right away. And the most obvious ones, you know, Great Uncle Bulgaria, uh, to me, always was Scottish. I mean, it was such an obvious thing. He always yeah. had his wonderful tartan shawl. And I just thought as, as the years go on, this incredible man who is, you know, such, the, you know, so much the, the patriarch of, of the family and that gravitas and, you know, again, being Scottish, I was lucky to, to use part of my own accent, but also with a nod to the, the, the great Scots who've gone before. And you think of, you know, Sir Sean Connery, you think of Brian Cox, you know, wonderful actors that we've had with such wonderful voices and such gravitas, but such a warmth as well. And so I kind of, there was a little nod in the direction uh, to some of those great Scots voices that I've known over the years. 
And then with, with Orinoco, who, funnily enough, was the, the, the first one that I thought, now, just where does he come from now? And again, because Orinoco always is the wannabe pop star. So in my head, I could see Ed Sheeran, and I could also hear just this wonderful, simplistic voice that he has that's always inquiring, and sometimes it can be a little bit lazy, but just a wonderful innocence to it. So that was where, where that one came from. And, and as I said, some of the other ones just just appeared. It was, it was very, very strange. It was like channeling, channeling the Wombles. So that, that feels like quite a scoop for you to admit that Orinoco is based on Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> he just, whenever I see Orinoco, I, I think of Ed. And Ed, Ed is just, what well, obviously just become uh, a father. Um, yeah. And I always think, you know, Ed is, apart from just being one of the, the finest musicians that I know, um, has just got that wonderful in, inquiring mind as well. And whenever I've had the pleasure of interviewing him, you know, A, he's very funny, very quick. But also you can just see he's got that inquiring mind because he's such a brilliant musician. So you can see him going into his own little world, which obviously he does on stage when he goes into all the loops and, you know, produces all those incredible sounds himself. Um, so I think, you know, that there's very much that Ed Sheeran world. So it was lovely to visit that just a little bit. <laughs> well, I think that's fantastic. Well, um, huge thanks again for all your support for Join Remember Charity Week. It's going to make the most enormous difference because we know one of the biggest challenges we have is that many people simply don't know they can they can leave a gift in their will and even a small amount makes a big difference. And I think the, the Remember Charity Week and having the Wombles on board is going to make such a great difference. I'm really, really excited about the week and just getting that campaign out there because I think it will really, really sort of touch a kind of a, a positive message and, a, and, and that moment of nostalgia. Uh, and I'm really excited for, to people to see the film and, and all your voices, including Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Rob. And again, it's just a reminder to people, it's such a simple thing, at a very complicated time in the world for everyone. And again, whenever one mentions the word will, everyone thinks lots of money. That's not what we're thinking at all. Just a little. And you've heard it so many times for so many charities. Every little helps. And you know what? At the moment, it counts more than ever. Thank you. Well said. <laughs>